All right, we're back with the Enclave Eclipse soundbar review. And let me tell you right off the bat, I'd absolutely love this thing. Uh, if you want to go ahead and end the video right here, you absolutely can. Make sure you go down to the description of the video and hit that link and buy yourself this Enclave Eclipse soundbar because once you hear the sound quality, the sound coming out of these 11 speakers, you're not going to return this bad boy. You're going to head down to the comment section and you're going to thank me for introducing you to the Enclave Eclipse soundbar because this thing sounds absolutely amazing. You don't believe me? Check this out. Did you hear that? Did you hear the amazing sound that was coming out of these 11 speakers? I don't think you did. I hope the mic picked up as best as the mic could because I know it didn't. It did not pick it up just like I heard it in my ears. It sounded like I had four walls of speakers, four walls of speakers all around me, blaring sounds at different frequencies and levels all around me it absolutely sounded fantastic it blew my mind away it absolutely blew my mind dolby atmos is absolutely insane if you haven't tried it you have to try it that's how crazy this bad boy sounded it absolutely sounded amazing but not only does it sound amazing the simplicity of this bad boy how easy it is to set up is crazy. Three wires, a power source wire for the sound bar, a power source wire for the subwoofer. You don't have to mess around with the subwoofer and pair it to the sound bar. That thing automatically pairs. As soon as you plug that power cord into a power source, the subwoofer is gonna magically pair to the sound bar. You don't have to do anything. And a HDMI cable from your TV to the sound bar, boom. You're off to the races. That's all you need. If you want to plug in a two other devices, you don't have to plug them into the TV. You just have to plug them into the sound bar. You got an Xbox, a PlayStation, plug it into the sound bar. You got an Android TV or Apple TV, plug it into the sound bar. That is how simple this bad boy is. It is super simple to set up. I am blown away on how easy this thing is. You know what else is crazy super simple? Is the remote. There is no fumbling around settings with this soundbar. There's no trying to look for your bass, your treble, and your mids, and your lows, or anything like that. You know why? Because everything has a dedicated button on your remote. The remote is absolutely crazy. If you want to lower the bass, you can go ahead and lower it with the dedicated bass button. If you want to hire the treble, you can go ahead and hire the treble with the dedicated treble button. Obviously, it's going to have a volume rocker to lower and higher the sound. But you want to go ahead and pair your smartphone so you can listen to some music on the soundbar. Hit the dedicated Bluetooth button. Hit the dedicated auxiliary button. There is a USB button, an optical coax button in case your TV doesn't support HMI eARC. Then you're going to have to use the optical or coax. But if you TV does support HDMI eARC, then there's a button for that as well. And there's a button for HDMI 1, HDMI 2 for other sources going in, plugged into the soundbar themselves. 
This controller is, is absolutely fantastic. It's one of the best controller designs I've ever seen. I hate fumbling the settings. There's an equalizer button here. So that's the only thing you're going to have to cycle through modes. But I think that's about it because uh, there is about seven or nine modes in here. There's a mode dedicated for everything a night, music, voice, whatever you want to hear. There's a mode for that. Just cycle through them and I'm pretty sure you'll find the, per the perfect custom mode for yourself. There's a button for everything. Now, if you lose the controller, there is four dedicated buttons on the soundbar. That's how simplistic this thing is. There's a power button. This is going to power on and power off your soundbar. There is a mode button. Now, this is the only cycling you have to do. Now, if you want to go like through Bluetooth, HMI, and all those other uh options that i mentioned earlier you are going to have to cycle through them here because there's only one button for that and then there's a volume down and volume up that's it there's nothing else connected to this but i know you guys are eager to see how this thing is going to sound with a game console because i know you i mentioned that earlier plug in a playstation or plug in an xbox and i know you guys are going to go down in the comment section below but you didn't show us an example of how it sounds when you're gaming well here is your sample i plugged in my xbox series x to the soundbar and the soundbar relayed the video and audio boom while playing cod you be the judge and let me know how it sounds Now, let me tell you right off the bat, that thing is absolutely crazy. Now, don't judge my gameplay because I was holding the camera and trying to game at the same time. It's a little bit difficult to accomplish, but I did get some kills here and there. So, don't hate. Don't hate. Hit me up on Xbox Gadget Beard. Let's get our game on. But it absolutely sounded fantastic. I don't think the mic that I have connected to the camera is going to do it any justice. You have to hear this thing for yourself. Like I mentioned earlier, if go buy one, go try it out yourself. I know it's about 600 bucks, but if you're looking for a soundbar, they're all around that same price range anyways. You're definitely not going to be disappointed with the Enclave soundbar because this thing sounds freaking amazing if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comment section below i'll try to answer them to the best of my ability sorry if i miss anything but i think i covered everything about this soundbar because it's absolutely crazy and super simple and easy to set up that it's mind blown anybody can go ahead and set this bad boy up with that being said thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and like always i'll catch you guys on the next one peace